Hi, today we're taking a look at a budget digital microscope I got off AliExpress. It's the Andon Star AD210. Paid just about 90 euros for it and took about 10 days for UPS to bring it. It was delivered from a Czech Republic warehouse, so not too bad. Opening the box, we come across a basic user manual in English. Basically what's in the box, installation, how to assemble the microscope, settings and how to use the remote control as well as a warranty card at the back of the user manual. Everything does seem to be very well packed. The screen and the microscope is one unit. So let me get this assembled and we see how this actually looks. Under the screen we find the cables, the remote control and then the bases at the bottom. The stand just screws in. The lock nut at the bottom. The base is 18 by 20 centimeters. There's a lock nut on the back to lock the height adjustment. The screen slides in can tilt. Easy to adjust. One of the cables plugs into the screen, the USB. One plugs into the bottom, that's the power for the gooseneck lights. This Microscope didn't come with the power supply, so I just plugged it into a phone charger. That's 5 volts, 2 amps. And on my USB meter, I can see that with everything on, it pulls just about 1 amp. So a phone charger is more than enough to run it. You could actually run it off a power bank. Let's peel off the protective film. Yeah, very satisfying. Okay, first look under the scope. Very clear picture. That's a 1080p screen. And I can get my tweezers on to the components, no problem. Plenty of space for me to work. I get my soldering iron underneath there, no issues. Same goes for the hot air station. I can work under the microscope, no issues, plenty of space. So this is a recording that I made on the SD card. This tiny capacitor that we're looking at is very small. This is an 0201 package. It's tiny. Let me show you on a ruler with millimeter divisions just to show you.
absolutely tiny. And with this microscope, no problem. So with the microscope all the way down, I can zoom in on solder joints and we'll be able to do inspection, looking for burnt components, dry solder joints, perfect for the job. Digital zoom. With the microscope all the way up, you have about 22 centimeters underneath the lens. There's plenty of room to work. Remote control gives you all the options, all the settings, all the modes. Looking at the back of the scope, we have the plug for the USB. We have the slot for the SD card. There's no HDMI connection on this scope. It is a standalone. The front buttons on the microscope, you have on off, you have mode switching between scope and playback. Zoom in, zoom out, digital, zoom in, zoom out. Okay to start recording. And then there is a picture of a camera so you can take still photos. Yeah, this scope is perfect for me. The little wheel to adjust the brightness. So in conclusion, for the price I paid 90 euros delivered, I'm very happy with this new microscope. It's gonna help me out big time in my work, micro soldering. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and remember there's always a fix.